But what's some of the best advice you've received? Um, I feel there's not one thing that, uh, that drives me. And, and I like to listen to different people. And I think you always learn something. And I think that attitude helps me, right? That I try to always be open and I try to, yeah, to pick up good things. And, and sometimes what I find when you get a little bit older, sometimes you get confirmation. So you hear something say, hey, maybe that is what I do without ever having given it a name, right? Yeah. And sometimes you think, hey, this is a new insight and I, I, I got to at least think about it. Uh, my answer is on the other side of the spectrum. It's actually one word, focus. And when I was, when I was younger, focus for me felt limit, limiting. It felt like you, I need to do one thing only and do that thing. I think now with, with a bit of experience and maturity, um, I look back and, and the word focus, which has you know, been around for a while, and it's, it's a simple word, means that if you, if you do something, do it right. But you can do many things. Mm. And as, as long as you focus on the, on the goal, on the purpose, on the people around you, and ultimately on the profit, because we're, we're, we're not an NGO. You know, we're, 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 we're a for-profit company. So I think focus is, is one of the best advice I've, 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 I've gotten. And it's just that how do you manifest that different than just a limiting aspect? Because if you, if you tell a 25-year-old focus, that means that you need to do something, you need to look at that Excel sheet and be good at it. Yeah. Uh, I think today, at my age, in my experience, I think I'm, I'm comfortable saying that focus is a, is, a, is a limitless approach to doing things much better and to always want to progress. You have to be quite mindful to always remember that to focus. That focus. Yes. <laughs> Advice I've got and that I always try to give is very simple, work hard, work honestly, treat everybody the same. Yeah. Look after your staff. If you look after your staff, they mind you and they look after your customers and your success. Well, I'm going to say something and we may even have to cut it out of the film because it will sound very fawning and obsequious, but honestly, out of all the people I've met, you're one of the warmest people. When you meet Colm, you're yeah. in his, you've an aura and you're in your space and you can see that you're very focused. I remember the first time I met you was in Dublin at a conference. Oh, when I spoke at that Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And straight, and my wife has met you and the same thing, we said the same thing. Colm, when you're with Colm, you're with Colm. And he's very warm and make you feel so we'll, we'll have to cut, cut that out because it's too long. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Actually, can you say it in other languages? Like that? <laughs> no, but it's true. So I think you're, you're living by that advice. I think it needs to be always individual. It needs to fit to a person. Someone you know, asked me, you know, Jonathan, you always do things quite well and you like to do things very well. You do it very good, whatever that is. But that's not good enough. You've got to make sure that you do enough things that you're not good at as well, meaning mm. you need to be out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And maybe in the past, when I was younger, I didn't go enough into these uncomfortable spaces because I didn't feel I was going to be able to excel at them at 100%. So I think that was a good piece of advice that I got at some point. Make sure that you feel uncomfortable. Make sure that you're vulnerable from time to time. Otherwise, you're going to stagnate. Something one of our members said to us recently this year, he said to me, I was having a meeting with him, and he's a billionaire, right? So he's being pretty successful in life, depending on your definition of success, of course. But what he said to me, he was talking to me, and he's you know, a mentor of sorts, or he'd share his insights with me. And he had said to me that the chase is always better than the catch, right? Yeah, okay. In terms of he's obviously, from a financial perspective, been incredibly successful. And it was something that kind of resonated with me in the sense that, again, similar to you, I like to do things quite well and I'm unashamedly ambitious and I want to get on. And I already know that when I get there where I want to be, it's not actually going to yeah. be all that Feel fulfilling, right? Yeah, right? Which is, probably comes down to more personal purpose and what you should be doing. Um, but I thought that was quite interesting because it made me recognize, or I already knew, but it helped me recognize now that these goals, etc., that I set for myself, and I'm quite fastidious about my goals as well, <laughs> um, that I know when I get there that they're perhaps not going to fulfill me anyway. Yeah. So then I need to really be clever about it now. I've realized that now, whereas if it's fair to say, my, my friend who gave me this advice, you know, he spent many decades getting there and realized that it then. It's like climbing mm. to the top yeah. of the mountain yeah. and realizing there's nothing there.